President Biden facing backlash after appearing to let a military secret slip during a rare live TV interview. This is a war relating to munitions and uh, the running out of those that ammunition, and we're low on it. And so what I finally did, took the recommendation of the Defense Department to not permanently, but to allow for in this transition period where we get more 155 weapons, these shells for Ukrainians. Dick Beckett is a U.S. Army veteran and former Arkansas Senate candidate, and he joins us now. Jake, good morning to you. You know, it's a two-part issue here, morning. actually three if you think about it. Um, but w when you think about the U.S. depleting our stockpile of military ammunition uh, and the fact that Biden just let this blurt out. This was music to our adversaries' ears hearing this. Not only that, but Americans should be concerned. And then it begs the whole question, if he's just blurting things like this out in an interview, is he competent enough to lead the nation? Well, it's a fair question, and I just I have to laugh because as a an army officer, former army officer myself, if me or one of my soldiers were to tweet or uh, give some kind of a media interview where we revealed such uh, crucial information to the public, we would be censured, maybe even imprisoned. Uh, but here is our commander in chief just blurting out this uh, tactical and strategic information for everyone to hear. It's embarrassing. It's humiliating. It's part of the reason why I believe that the Democrats are going to replace Joe Biden at the top of the ticket in 2024. Um, and he, he really is just this doddering old uh, commander in chief. He's an 80 year old man. Uh, he, he's definitely lost a lot of miles an hour on his fastball, but it really has dire implications for national security. I mean, here he is just telling everyone, telling the world that we are currently low on 155 ammunition, which is the uh, largest and most important artillery munitions uh, that we use uh, in the modern military. And uh, it also really begs the question, um, you know, why can't the West, uh, Western Europe and the United States, match Russian production? Um, you know, that, that seems to be a, a, a running theme over the past uh, year to 18 months with this war in Eastern Europe. Uh, the United States, uh, we're clearly having trouble manufacturing uh, the munitions that are capable to not only, uh, you know, complete the, the, the requirements for our own military, but to fund our allies as well. So, uh, you know, we're, we're supposed to be depleting, uh, you know, the, the capabilities of Russia in this conflict. Uh, that's obviously not the case. As a matter of fact, it seems to be quite the opposite is what's happening here. Well, the White House tried to walk this back. They told Fox News Digital, quote, the military has specific requirements for the numbers of weapon systems and ammunition we maintain in our reserves in case of contingencies or military conflict. Everything we send to Ukraine is in excess of that. So the U.S. is not running out of ammunition ourselves. You're the only one of the three of us who has a perspective on this. You served in the military. You understand how weapons work you understand our stockpiles do you buy what the white house just said there no that's just clean up on aisle three right there i mean that's just we've seen this time and time again uh, the entire Biden administration uh you know he he blurts out uh, or he accidentally reveals the truth uh, and then his uh, his handlers uh, immediately come out to try to walk it back and say don't believe your lying eyes what the president just accidentally revealed to you uh, here's what's actually happening so we we all we, we've seen this time and again uh, it's really no surprise and again it's 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 why I truly believe that uh, the Democrats they're they're waiting for the right time they don't want to supplant Biden with Kamala Harris uh, because they know that she's a sure loser in 2024 and she's even more embarrassing in public than he is so I think they want to wait uh, until the right moment to supplant him with someone like Gavin Newsom, uh, who would probably have a better chance in 2024. Or now the media, they were propping up uh, Gretchen Whitmer last week, right. so that was the yeah. new one. Uh, but now we had to uh, switch gears to this. Texas Governor Greg Abbott, he's putting up some huge buoys across a thousand feet of the Rio Grande to try and block migrants. You know, Jake, no matter what the governor does or does in Texas, the left is obviously going to criticize him. But do you think these buoys are going to work, or is this going to cause you know us to see? I hate to say it, but more dead migrants in the river because it's the first thing I thought of. Well, I think your your mindset is correct. I mean, the left is going to hate whatever uh, Greg Abbott or any red state governor does, so you might as well act decisively. 
uh, to secure the southern border. And, and you know, really, you have to think about this as, as a military engagement. Think about it in terms of national defense. Deterrence is the best strategy. So, you know, with, with these waves of illegal immigrants that are swarming across our borders, okay, all, all they know is what they see in front of them and what they hear from their family and friends and the groups that support them who have gone before them. So if they hear that, hey, there are dangerous obstacles in the river, that to, that, that word is going to flow down through Mexico and Central America and the word will be out that the border is secure. So what we should do is be increasing these efforts to deterrence and use this as an opportunity for red state governors to work together. I've been saying this for years. Okay, Greg Abbott and other red state governors should work in concert, utilize their National Guard, create new state guard militia units that are specifically designed to, to, to do what the federal government refuses to do, which is in violation of the Constitution, by the way, which is to refuse to secure our southern border. So I, I, I really uh, encourage these other red state governors to help Greg Abbott do this because, you know, and, and unless they work together, unless there's a coalition of red state governors to step in where the feds right. refuse to act, then this, this, these waves of legal migrants, migrants are not going to stop. Jake Peckett, thank you for your time this morning. Have a great week. Thanks, Jake. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.